Hello, and thanks for making a purchase of our bandsaw blade tooth setter. We've been building these now for about five years. It doesn't require much. You need just the setter, a six to eight inch vise, a simple set of digital calipers, a half inch wrench, a five sixteenths inch wrench, a pen, a piece of paper, a set of gloves so you don't cut yourself up on your blade, and you're ready to go. You want to start with sorting out what your desired set is. It could be anywhere from 20, 30, whatever that you feel you need, you can do your research on that for the wood you're cutting. Let's say for this example, I want a set of 0.030 of an inch. We need to measure our actual blade. So you take your blade, start at the back, make sure you're not including a tooth and get a measurement off the back of the blade. We got 0.041. So we take the set plus our current blade thickness at the back. That gives us an 071 is that's our final number we're after at the tooth. So now we're going to see what our blade is actually at the tooth. That tooth's pretty mild, but including the tooth and the regular blade, so make sure you get the tooth included. We got like, hold it flat, 055, right in there, 055. So 055 is our actual tooth set this piece of blade has right now. So we're off 0 0.016. We need to bend it 0 0.016 more. You've only got two adjustments on your setter. You've got the gullet adjustment and you've got the tooth adjustment. You want to start out when you get your setter by backing these off if they're too high. You want to back these down a little bit. Make sure that these square headed bolts are backed off. I like to put the setter in so that the weld side and the pins face you so you want the weld side facing away. That way the blade rides over it when it's in a curve it fits over the blades. It was designed that way so that it the blade now sets in the center. Run your vise up close but not completely tight. Take your half inch wrench and run these side bolts or the gullet adjusters until the gullet or the lowest U part of the blade is flush with the surface of the center. Do both sides. Bring the blade up until that gullet is flush at the surface just like that. If your blade is leaning towards the adjuster this way and it's not the same, simply turn your blade inside out and put the blade back in and now they'll line up correctly. Your blade has a tooth this way, one direction, then a straight tooth and a tooth the other way. Once you've rotated your blade so they line up with the, the center adjusters, get your straight tooth in the middle. You want the one that's even with the blade right in the center. Snug up the vise. Run the adjuster one at a time. You don't need to do two. Run this adjuster. You don't want it up to it. Run it down till it just touches the tooth and then go about a quarter of a turn. This is with the vise tight. Once you've done the quarter of a turn, you'll see it push the tooth, release up. Make sure you've marked the tooth that you're working on or you'll get confused. It's easy to do. We all do it then measure that tooth. Make sure you hold your calipers in a way so that they're against the back side and you're measuring the front side, the tip of the tooth, so you get an accurate result of the actual tooth. So right now, this one's at 0.67, and our target number, like we talked about earlier, is 070. So I need just a tiny bit more of adjustment to hit that 30,000 set that we're trying to achieve. So put it back in the vise, tighten it down, and then go like a sixteenth of a turn more. You'll see it's plenty bent, and you do get some spring back, so don't worry. If you see that, it springs back, that's okay. 
then check it again. This usually takes two or three tries, maybe even four or five, till you gotta get a feel for it. Check your blade again, and there we go. I'm at 071, right there, 07 and, 07, 0 and a half, 071. So we're gonna call that good. So now, I would place this back in, line it up, clamp it down, and I would do the same thing with the second tooth. Now we've got both set, we've measured, everything's good. Mark your blade where your start is so that you don't lose track. And then index through the straight tooth. Always goes in the middle, remember, index. Tighten, you don't ever have to adjust these again. Once you've done that, you're done for the duration of the blade until you wanna change the set or use a different blade altogether, then you would need to readjust them. Otherwise, they're done. You never have to touch them anymore. Make sure you always tighten the handle and the blade is set in. Now it just set those teeth the same as it did the previous set. Loosen, index to the next set, clamp again, tighten. Make sure you tighten that vise. It just put the set in the next set of teeth. Loosen, skip to the next straight tooth. This is the next straight one again. Tighten it up again. Snug it up good. I just put the set in those set of teeth. As you get practice doing this, you'll get faster and faster. The average 180 inch blade takes about 15 minutes to get through, which isn't too bad. So just keep going. If you do, if you decide, well, halfway through, I'm not sure if I'm maintaining the proper set, go ahead and do it, and then spot check yourself. And make sure that you are still achieving the set that you wanted. And so, uh, but once you've generally done your initial setup, it'll hold that for hundreds of blades. No need to change unless you're gonna change the actual set you want. In which case, start over and do the settings again.